Welcome back to Pymol Biomolecules. In this video, we are going to see about how to install GMX MMPBSA in Ubuntu using the Conda environment. GMX MMPBSA is a powerful tool for performing MMPBSA calculations with Gromax. In this video, I will guide you through the step by step process to get you up and running quickly. Let's get started. Before we begin, make sure you have a stable internet connection and sufficient disk space. Okay. Also ensure your Ubuntu system is up to date. First we are going to download an environment file. So go to your preferred web browser. It could be Chrome, Firefox or any other browser of your choice. And go to this link. Okay. So I will provide the link in the description also. Here. Once the page loads, scroll down until you find the section that mentions the Conda installation. Okay. Here you can see there are two ways to install the GMX MMPBSA. One is through the Conda environment and another one is the Amber Tools compilation. Okay. I will be using Anaconda to install the GMX MMPBSA. If you prefer, you can use Mini Conda. Okay. This one, which is a lightweight version of the Anaconda. Both will have the Conda package manager. After installing Anaconda or Mini Conda, the rest of the procedure is the same. If you want me to post another video using Mini Conda to install the GMX MMPBSA, please post in the comment section. Now, go to here Conda environment and you have to download this environment file. Okay, here it is the file. Download env.yml file. Now click on the link to download the file to your computer. Depending on your browser settings, the file might download automatically to your default download folder or you might be prompted to choose your locations. So I am going to press the Ctrl S to save the file and I am going to download in this folder and I am going to name, name it as env.yml. Okay? So that's all. After the download is complete, navigate to your downloads folder. Okay. So this is the downloads folder to ensure that your environment file has been successfully downloaded. Okay. And that's it. You have downloaded the environment file. Now I'm going to move this file into this folder just for the convenience. Okay. This file is essential for setting up your Conda environment for GMX MMPBSA. Now open this environment file in a text editor and change this python version from 3.10 to 3.9 okay because python 3.10 gives me error while installing a dependency called pandas 1.2.2 okay and this is the mpi4y install this for the parallel computations and save this file by using Control S. Okay. Now you can see these are the dependencies that will be installed, and these will be installed through pip. Okay. And first, these packages will be installed by Conda Package Manager, and these packages will be installed by pip. Okay. This Conda environment is isolated from your system Python environment. Okay. This is the system Python environment and this is the conda environment so this environment is only used for gmx mmpbsa so that's why we are using the conda package manager now i'm going to save this file by pressing the control s so that's all And you can see the Gromax version 2023.4 will also be installed. Okay. Now I'm going to close this file. Next we are going to download MMPBSA from GitHub. Okay. So go to this GitHub repository. Okay. So once you are in the repository, look for the code button. Okay click on this and you will see an option called download zip 
or you can clone this repository using this link so I'm going to click on download zip and it will start downloading okay so that's all I have already downloaded it so this is the file that I have downloaded so I'm going to move this file to this folder just for the convenience so this is our file so right click and extract this archive and you can see the archive is extracted so inside this folder you can see there are examples next we are going to download the anaconda okay before we begin the gmx mmpbac installation ensure you have a conda installed on your system conda is a open source package management and environment management system that runs on windows mac os and linux if you don't have it installed you can download it from the anaconda website or install the mini conda which is a smaller and lightweight version of the anaconda so i'm going to download the anaconda so go to this website anaconda.org and click on this link download anaconda here enter your email id okay and open your inbox so you will receive a mail so in that mail click on the download now button okay you will be taken to this link where you can download the anaconda so when you scroll down you can see there are different versions available that is for windows mac and linux we are going to download the linux version and i am going to use the 64 bit x86 installer and this is approximately 1 gb okay so make sure you have stable internet connection and download this so if you do not prefer anaconda so you can use miniconda also so which is a lightweight version which is approximately 400 mb so just to click on this link to download the anaconda so it will start downloading so i have already downloaded it okay so open your downloads folder once the download is complete you can see this is the file that i have downloaded earlier i am going to move it here just for convenience and here it is the file and here is the file now let's run the installer script to start the installation for that just to open the terminal in this folder and you can see the terminal is open in the current folder which is downloads slash mmgbse underscore download now before running the installer make sure this file has execute permissions so go to the properties and see the permissions so make sure you have allow executing file as a program which is checked okay so close this and open your terminal and run this command dot slash and your name of the file anaconda3 okay and give enter now in order to continue the installation process please review the license agreement please press enter to continue okay so press enter and you have to read the license agreement so press enter i am going to press enter continuously and you can see please answer yes or no okay do you accept the license terms yes or no so i am going to press yes i am going to type yes and press enter okay now you can see anaconda 3 will now be installed into this location home slash ubuntu slash anaconda 3 so this is the location okay I am going to press enter to confirm the location and if you want to abort the installation press ctrl c or if you want a different location please specify here okay if you don't have a disk space on your home folder you can specify a different location here okay so i am going to use the default uh, location so press enter and you can see the installation will proceed okay it will take approximately one to two minutes depending on your system
now it is unpacking the payload okay so wait for few minutes for the installer to complete the installation now you can see it is installing the base environment okay this is the ubuntu base environment now the installation is almost completed okay now this is a important step up. here you can see do you wish to update your shell profile to automatically initialize conda okay this will activate conda on startup and change the command prompt when activated okay so i'm going to press yes okay you can disable this using this command okay i am going to press yes this will initialize the conda environment this is important step after that we can use this command to disable the auto activation of the base environment okay so after typing yes give enter and you can see the dot bash rc file is modified so for the changes to take effect close and reopen your current shell okay so i'm going to close my terminal and reopen my normal terminal okay now you have installed anaconda in your ubuntu system now if your base environment is activated you will see here it is a base okay so but every time you start the terminal the conda base environment will be initialized so disable the automatic base environment by this command so use this command conda config set auto activate base false now see the command is completed so if you give it as true what will happen means when you close and open the terminal the base environment will be automatically activated if you give true the base environment will be automatically activated see here it is the base environment so if you want to disable this automatic activation of the base environment give this command okay conda config said auto activate base false so this is one of the important step now when you close the terminal and reopen it you can see the normal terminal will appear so that's all you have successfully installed anaconda in your system now we can see the location of the installation so go to your home folder here you can see anaconda 3 okay here the anaconda 3 will be installed so if you want to uninstall this anaconda so delete this folder and this conda folder okay and inside this dot conda folder you can see there is a file called environments.txt here all the environments will be saved and you can see in the anaconda 3 inside this here you can find the folder called envs that is environments okay here currently we don't have any environments okay so that's why it is empty so now now we are going to create a conda environment and install the mmpbse so go to your downloads folder so where you have the environments file so which we have modified earlier so open your terminal in this folder so now currently we are in this folder so give this command to create an environment So give this command to create a conda environment the name will be mmpbsa you can give any name depending on your choice 
and the file will be env.yml that we have saved earlier okay now give enter and this will create a new conda environment the name will be mmpbse okay and this will take few minutes and it will download the all the dependencies from the internet okay you can see in the environment file these are the dependencies these all the dependencies will be downloaded from the internet okay so make sure you have stable internet connection so open the terminal you can see you can see now the environment is successfully created okay so you can see this message successfully installed gmx mm pbsa and other some of the packages so if you use python 3.10 while installing pandas it will give error so okay so that's why i have changed the python 3.10 to 3.9 so you can see to activate this environment use conda activate mm pbsa which is name of your environment so deactivate the environment so give this command count on deactivate now to list the created environments give this command give this command conda env list okay you can see the listed environment here you can see base and mmpbs this base environment will be default and it will be present in the anaconda 3 directory and this mmpbs environment will be located in this directory which is anaconda 3 slash env slash mmpbs okay so let's go and check here so go to home anaconda 3 and in the envs folder and in the environment folder you can see there is mmpbs environment okay let's see about the environment activation and deactivation so in the terminal give this command conda activate mmpbsc which is name of your environment give enter and you can see the environment is activated so to deactivate the environment give this command So now the environment is deactivated. You can see the normal terminal. The gmx mmpbs test command in the gmx mmpbs package is used to perform automated test to verify the package has been installed correctly and it is functioning as expected. Now you can see the gmx mmpbs test command is not found because we are not in the mmpbs environment. So activate the environment count activate mmpbs now the environment is activated so you can see here mmpbs environment now you can run the command gmx mmpbs test so now this command runs a series of predefined test cases okay which typically include validation of the installation functionality testing and consistency checks and this command will download some files from the internet and run the test okay the command will output the result of the test okay indicating whether they passed or failed if any test fail the output typically provide information to help diagnose and fix the issues if the test indicate any problems follow the guidance provided in the output to troubleshoot and resolve them this might involve reinstalling the dependencies correcting the environment variable or addressing any other configuration issues using this command is a good practice to ensure the reliability and the correctness of your computational experiments. So I will now pause the video and I will come back once the test is completed. You can now see all the tests are completed and it is starting to open the GMX MMPBAC ANA. And this is the initialization of GMX MMPBAC ANA okay this is the graphical user interface 
and this is the initialization part okay and you can change any of the options and click accept after that the result of the test will be loaded here you can see on the right hand side all the data will be presented okay these are the data that will be presented to you you can analyze using the graphical user interface and in the left hand side you can see the visualization options all the charts and graphs will appear in the middle so i'm going to quit this window if you want you can analyze this now all the tests are completed okay there are nine number of tests okay first you can see the protein ligand protein 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 dna etc including the alanine scanning stability calculation decomposition analysis that's all opening mmpbsa ana is one of the test okay that is the part of initialization the gmx mmpbsa ana command in the gmx mmpbsa package is used for analyzing the results of the mmpbsa calculations which means after performing the mmpbsa calculations you would execute the gmx mmpbsa ana command to analyze the results so i hope this video is helpful for you please like and subscribe thank you for watching